Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is from a puzzle generator. I've done a video, I, I believe, just like this, but somebody's having trouble, and I don't know which video they're watching, so it's just easier just to make another one, and maybe some of that hadn't seen it. So, and I'm going to list the puzzle generator at the bottom of the video. Uh, it's pretty easy to set the number of tiles and the size, but you can't power clip this into this puzzle generator. This is was a, an imported SVG file. So if we look, the puzzle is a little over 40 inches, so we're going to make our nudge factor 42. We're going to take our smart fill tool, and I'm going to fill in each one of the blocks. And what this is doing is it's creating uh, 25 new objects. It's going to look the same, but it's different. So now we're going to left click, right click, and each one of these pieces is individual, where this is not. Even if you break it apart or ungroup it all, you're just getting the lines. So take this picture or a picture or a graphic or a vector of anything, go to object. I don't like using power clip, but it works really good in this case and place it inside frame. But what I forgot to do is take this and go to group and group it together. And then take your picture, object, power clip, inside frame, and you get it. Then you can edit it and you can see it kind of in real time to make sure you get the most you can. Press edit or finish. And then if you want the people or the pieces separated, just ungroup it and then you have individual puzzle pieces. Whoop. And you can move them around and uh, see what they're going to look like. Like, let's do one with his ear. And so there's his ear. Now, if you're going to cut this out, you know, just make sure they're all hairlines and they're not. So I'm going to go to hairline. And I always make my hairlines red just so I can see it more. And that's what it's going to look like cut out. Now, the problem with this doing it this way is that these lines are going to cut twice because there's two pieces. So realistically, if you don't need to take the puzzle apart, like in a graphic, it's much easier to, let me see if I can't put that back together. And you could put the puzzle pieces in here and let's left click and make it a hairline and then you could take let me go and extract the contents and then just put your you don't have to put it in there and if you want to look see what it looks like go to object order back a page and then you see what your puzzle is going to look like it doesn't matter about this you could actually take your puzzle piece or your picture and crop it a little bit if you wanted to not necessary and then, because it's just going to cut out the excess and it's going to fall off, you know, if this is pieces of wood. The good thing about this, it's only cutting those lines one time. The puzzle's still going to fall apart. Anyway, so I'll put a, a link to the puzzle generator at the bottom of the video. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.